so just a quick recap on how I caught these buys this morning so when I came to the chart pretty much we were in a range all right I identified this entire area as range you know you see candles printing side by side but I was actually looking at the chart right here I know I have a resistance here and another resistance here and as I can see this candle break and close above resistance so at this point you know I was sleeping so I missed this entire move all the way up to here which would have been a nice 17 pip move you know this would have been okay for to take a trade here a bit risky but okay but you know looking at the chart I identify this area to be my next most recent um, resistance and I was waiting for this candle or this candle to break and close above I did not got that confirmation you know so I had to just sit tight on my hands and actually wait for a price to form the way I want it to all right but what I've realized over the last few months is that whenever we have the 8 o'clock can, um, candle open which is this current candle right here 8 a.m if this candle form resistance and the next candle start to break the high in high volume session this increase the probability for price to continue all the way up all the way up to, to the next most recent significant level i identify you know this area as potential tp1 and this was pretty much like you know 13 13 pips there about and price push all the way up and break through this area and it full tp at about 32 33 pips all right now when you're in high volume session guys and you start to see you know the candle starts to break the wicks here take for example 8 a.m 8 30 9 9 30 10 sometime even leading up to the london close at 10 10 30 11 price start to break above these level you can go with it all right so i actually had two position the first one i close negative 25 dollar as this candle you know pull back to break it slow on the 15 minute time frame so i close here but when i got this 15 minute candle to close clean above the level this was my confirmation that hey we are going up so i actually add back another position here you know and i was able to cover that 50 percent that i that i close in in the first position and full tp was it on the on the second position and also the first position that i had opened so this was my confirmation that we were going up so i didn't even worry about this minor pullback here once it did start to break the low here or close back in the range i was good with the trade you know and it just shoot right up now this is a simple trading strategy that i use when price is in a range all right when price is in a range, all you have to do, guys, is just wait for price to break out of consolidation. Once you get that break and it's not all the way up here, you can go with it. Sometime, even when the candle close, you know, like 5, 10 people out of the range, about here, just wait for the new candle to pull back in the area to take a buy and you keep your stop at least 10 to 12 people or 15 pip max depending on what you are looking for you know but gj I always try to keep a 10 to 15 pip stop loss on most of my trade you know because the thing is i try to keep stop um small and you know have a good risk to reward ratio like two to one two to three but whenever i hit 10 pips i always move stop to entry and if i feel the need to i secure 50 percent of the position or more and just leave a small position to run and this will build confidence in your runners over time all right so that was it and you know it was a simple and easy trade and even this 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 trade I actually called the cells this morning on Ponyen right here as this candle close you know slightly below this level but I was confident that we were going down because this was 145 leading up to the the London open so I actually took cells at the close one position here and you know leave it but the thing is I had another position in this area and price shoot all the way down so that negative 68 dollar was pretty much covered 
all right and price pull all the way down for over almost 40 pips there about um geo we didn't got the confirmation i was looking for i think you know just by just looking at geo right here this could have actually sell you know could have actually sell when the 15 minute candle closed right here could have actually sell it because i know this is a 10 pip stop you know but could have sell it but i call some buys and geo this morning how about here with about a 10 pip stop after after this job i you know pretty much about a five pip draw down there about i got and then you know i secure about 10 to 15 pips and it shoot all the way up for you know 66 pips so it was pretty it was pretty much a good session this morning you know these these ideas are sent in the in the free group so yeah that's that but looking pretty good